Now, guys, we're here with Gundam extraordinaire, Eric. Cheers. Uh, thanks for having me. No worries, no worries. So, um, to start off with, what is Gundam? Gundam is a uh, franchise that started in uh, Japan back in the 1970s, which is uh, ba basically is it a, more of an anti-war sentiment, which uh, uses uh, these cartoon robots as a vehicle to portray these messages about the horrors of war. And um, the series proved to be so popular that they kept making more series and variations on that formula of these anti-war sentiments using vehicular robots and young child protagonists who have to experience the horrors of war for the first time. And along with that media franchise came along these lines of uh, what you can see here as uh, plastic model robot kits. Now back in the 70s, they weren't, that, they weren't as advanced or as accurate as these ones are, but that's what uh, Gundam is. It's a, it's, a, it's, not just, it's a media franchise where it's, it's not only just a cartoon series, but it's a whole entire hobby and culture unto itself. So you mentioned Gundam started in the 1970s. Yeah. Did it originally start as a cartoon, or was it was it an uh, anime, or was it a manga, or was yeah, it, it was, was it a it novel? Was, it was definitely an anime. It started off as anime, but like I said, because of the popularity proved to be a lot more than what the producers had uh, imagined, you started getting these movies. So, you know, you have different timelines, so they have different series, like the Universal Century, uh, after, after Century, and then you've got these, all these spin-off mangas, like these Japanese cartoons, that Bandai and Sunrise are all of a sudden saying, hey, these are great stories that they're using our material from, let's use that to expand further on our story. That's good to see. It's got quite a rich history as well. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, would you say it's just as popular here as it is in Japan? To be honest, no. Not exactly, but the hobby is growing. The popularity is definitely growing. Year after year, with every uh, Gundam Builders uh, World Championship, the quality of the entries, the number of entries have been increasing exponentially every year. And it's, I think that just goes to show how popular and um, how enthusiastic Australians are, not only about the cartoon and the, uh, and the consumption of their media, but also like as a hobbyist. As, as a hobbyist, we love to tinker, paint and mod modify. And this competition is just a great outlet for that. So, personally, Eric, how many do you own yourself, the models? <laughs> Can you put a number on it? Or? Uh, I think around about, I own 20. I'm not that great at, uh, around about 20. I'm not that great at building at, at these, but I enjoy it because it's a great stress reliever. I used to build, bring in little small kits into the office when no one's looking, so I could uh, start building it. So out of all the, the mechs and models, do you have a favorite there? Uh, my favorite one would have to be the uh, RX-93 New Gundam. Um, it's in uh, Charles Counter-Attack. And I think the design of it is just so... It's a beautiful piece of uh, design machinery. And the model kits they bought out for it, the uh, Verkar, just brings uh, the detail and the uh, little intrinsic details to life. And I, I just find that, you know, just amazing. So you mentioned, like, so storyline-wise, um, you mentioned it was anti-war yeah. in the beginning, you know, and you said that's carried on throughout the ages now. Yeah. So here, 2016, it's still going on, right? Yeah, I mean, like, right now, the, uh, we just finished a uh, running of four episode OVAs of uh, Gundam Thunderbolt, and a lot of the old series of Gundams would just um, focus on one protagonist in a, and how he experiences the horrors of war, but in a very muted kind of uh, kind of way. So, you know, it's like child soldiers having to fight, but they muted the violence and the, uh, and the grittiness of it. Gundam Thunderbolt is like see, seeing Saving Private Ryan for the first time. They're not afraid to show you the really darker sides of what space war would look like. And it touches upon like how, yes, war is gritty, but also it shows upon how the, the protagonist loses part of his humanity in, uh, in his bloodlust in the middle of battle. And I think it's a fresh approach to how Bandai no or whatever studio normally approaches that subject matter because they've always been very uh, careful in the way they approach the animated violence. So on a personal note, Eric, uh, you mentioned that there's quite a lot of um, sub-series and different OVAs that they've re released. Do you have a favorite episode or series or OVA? My favorite OVA right now is uh, definitely Gundam Thunderbolt. 
because it's a fresh approach on their uh, normal formula for storytelling where it's, it focuses on the gritty violence. I guess that's what happens when you're a 26-year-old, you want to see a much more mature storyline come out of a franchise you've grown up with. And it's, uh, it's definitely part of the Universal Century timeline and a lot of people are massive fans of the Universal Century timeline and I think that would uh, resonate with a lot of uh, more mature view uh, viewers these days. And how long have you been affiliated with Gundam? Affiliated with Gundam? Um, I've been working with the Gundam section of Smash for up to five years now. Uh, before that, I, I dabbled a bit in the hobby, I watched a bit here and there back in high school. Uh, but yeah, it was only in the last five years that I've actually, uh, I've actually taken the hobby seriously, getting really into the, uh, the anime, the movies, the OVAs, and just, just seeing what great stories there are to read. It's good to see as well, like, looking at all the, the people that come through, like they've, they've either, it seems that they've either watched it in the past or they're getting into it now as well. Yeah. And it looks like there's quite a few fans here as well, which is really good. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, yeah, if, any, if anything, because there's a series back from the 70s, there's series that are still being made to this day. There's ser like we're previewing series that are about to be released later on this year. Uh, Gundam is definitely a, uh, a media franchise that is that has something for everyone of all ages and all sizes and all genders as well. Have you met anyone that's that's come up to you and said, you know, I actually watched the original back in the 70s? Like... Um, no, not yet. Uh, that is definitely uh, not something that's happened to me. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm looking forward to the day I meet that person. Let's hope. Let's yeah. hope. Let's hope. Uh, Eric, thank you very much for your time. No worries, and man. Uh, yeah, let's hope to see some more Gunner. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Cheers. Cheers. See ya.